Canada this year's Mutian ng Davao. Oh, it's so surreal! You know what? I've been imagining that moment for so, so long. And the moment they called my number, I just couldn't believe it. I took like three seconds of pause and then I just cried. It's so surreal. You know, for a big girl like me to get a crown like this, it's so unheard of in the pageant industry. So it's still, it's still not sinking in, but I'm really just so happy. I'm immensely grateful. Thank you so, so much. How did you start to uh, uh, spread your advocacy in the barangay? Yes, I'm really glad that I won because I have quite, quite a lot of pro projects. The first thing I'm gonna do, the first step really is to create uh, the Mutya channel which is a Facebook page and I plan to post everything that uh, my court and me will be doing in our reign because I want a reign that is transparent so that we can elevate the community and also redefine Mutya ng Davao so that the whole Davaoenos would know and I also have lots of projects involving school uh, school caravans that would focus on promoting body positivity uh, in teachers and parents and of course students and also my advocacy which is ecotourism I plan to promote and to empower vloggers, filmmakers, social media influencers that we have in the city to further promote our natural wonders so it, we have quite a long way ahead of us but I'm really really glad that um, we get to start <sighs> <laughs> um, uh, what do you think would be the impact on the definition of beauty ngayong nanalo ka? I hope it would be a great impact. You know what? I joined Motya ng Dabao the second time. This is my second time because I really just wanted representation. I want people to see me in the Mutya stage in hopes that little girls like me or women like me and people like me would have hope and would also find the inspiration to chase their dreams because they'd see that nothing is impossible. So I hope it would create a big impact in da Davao City and maybe the whole Philippines if I'm being ambitious. I hope this would be the sign for people to really take that step towards inclusivity and also just try to better themselves and make sure that they don't obsess too much in their appearance. Alright. Um, Mama, um, challenge ka ng sa mga ka ng since ang nasa katong last train uh, led by Miss Ria Pelayo dagandaghan po silang nabuhat as mutya ng Davao and her court so the whole na challenge para sa moa nila buwan pa to and of course to redefine and to uh, make sure that the people know that ang mutya ng Davao is not just all talk it's not she's not just full of promises but she's also a force for good and she's also a woman who acts and I really hope that the whole Davao city would feel the projects that we have planned and I really hope that we we get um, we get uh, we give a great impact sa Davao. Ma'am, may sign na lang ma'am no sa mga kababayan na maulaw pa magawas ang comfort zone na pina na na pasi kuha pa ni mo ang kining body shaming. Yes, um to all women, I am like you. You know, before ko nag-appeal the second time around, I had a lot of bashers at grab grabe jud nagingon sila na uh, dili jud lagi mo daog ang tambo mm -hmm. dili jud basta bisan bright or guapa dili jud na mo daog and that's really what is uh, the force behind my joining Mutianang Davao again i want to prove that it is really not in your looks it is in what you can do for the world that would define who you are and so to all the women out there who are struggling like me Take it one day at a time and make sure you invest in all your other skills. Like for example, singing, film, filmmaking, and whole, dancing. Invest in that because you are so, worth so much more than your size, your looks, and what other people would say about you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, this is the living testament that the plus size candidate has made a uh, history as what can happen. Yes! <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It really is. And I am happy that Davao City is taking that step towards inclusivity. And I have always envisioned a Davao where women can walk freely, free from body discrimination. And I really hope it starts here. It starts today. I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. Thank you so much. Thank you.